So you know how early we were talking about how do you protect yourself, Alex, from the hate that you feel towards yourself? So how do I protect myself from like the hate I feel for myself? Yeah. What do you do? You used to hate yourself. You don't have a relationship with yourself anymore, right? How do you protect yeah. yourself from that? You push it away. Yeah, yeah. Right? It's like, so you have this oppression you talked about. Perfect. So now I think the reason that you're uncomfortable is because I'm asking you to not suppress. I'm asking you to do the very opposite. I don't think any of this shit has anything to do with women. So if we think about this, so you ready for the answer? I know we're only like 20 minutes in, but I've got an answer for you. Do you want, I mean, it could be wrong. So more likely to be wrong because I'm making a big judgment, right? So I have a hypothesis. So it's not an answer. That's actually arrogant. I have a hypothesis and I'm going to run it by you. And then I want to know what you think. And then if you're okay with it, we can explore it. I know everyone here is is being voyeuristic because they want to hear about this noob who spent $8,000 on a dating coach, etc., etc. We're not going to give them what they're looking for. We're actually going to try to help you and help them instead. And get to the pickup artist stuff later. Awesome. So I want you to just... I have one question for you. How do we learn how to see ourselves? Like, you see yourself a particular way, I see myself a particular way. How did I learn how to see myself? I mean, I suppose a lot of it can come from, like, your environments. Like, yeah. And, you know, like, the stuff that, like, happens to you. Yep. Right? So, so what were you taught about yourself from K to 8? Yeah, basically, like, a bunch of negative stuff like that. Yep.